Over the course of more than 35 years, Tom Cruise has evolved from a teen heartthrob to one of the most powerful and polarizing figures in Hollywood. He flew straight into the hearts of women everywhere as Maverick and Top Gun, and he won the male vote as Ethan Hunt in Mission Impossible, building a reputation as one of the film industry's genuine megastars. But somewhere along the way, the love Cruise had grown accustomed to began to fade, and the public's perception of him changed drastically. Once the man that every guy wanted to be and every girl wanted to be with, the name Tom Cruise has since come to mean something completely different. Cruise Control As Variety reports, Cruise's reboot of The Mummy is the latest of his films to be negatively impacted by his controlling interference. According to insiders, Cruise revamped the entire script and heavily influenced the direction, editing, and even marketing of the film, which produced a relatively dismal $32 million domestic opening weekend. International returns have been better, though insiders still doubt the film will recoup its combined production and marketing costs. And The Mummy wasn't the first film tainted by Cruise's obsessive meddling. According to actor Arlie Ermey, collaborator and friend to the late director Stanley Kubrick, the film Failure of Eyes Wide Shut was also due to the star's ego tripping. Ermey told Radar Online that Kubrick was disgusted with it and that the critics were going to have him for lunch. He said Cruz and Kidman had their way with him, exactly the words he used. Fewer Fangirls Telling women what they can and can't wear is one way to lose the female demographic, but telling them how to give birth is a different kind of insult entirely. When Katie Holmes was pregnant, Cruz was forced to address rumors that he was demanding his wife give birth in complete silence, a practice Scientologists believe prevents permanent psychic scars caused by negativity at birth. According to ABC News, Cruz was even rumored to have had a special pacifier made to keep Holmes quiet during delivery, though the A-lister insisted the church's silent birth method isn't as strict as many believe. It wasn't the first time Cruz stuck his nose into the childbirth debate. He made headlines in 2005 when he openly criticized Brooke Shields for taking medication to manage postpartum depression. Shields responded by saying, Tom should stick to saving the world from aliens and let women who are experiencing postpartum depression decide what treatment options are best for them. Cruz's third and final strike came when his alleged onset infidelity was exposed. Rumors that Scientology bigwigs encouraged Cruz to cheat on his first wife, Mimi Rogers, with second wife Nicole Kidman on the set of Days of Thunder were reportedly confirmed by former senior church executive Marty Rathbun, who said of the scheme, "...it just shows you how twisted and corrupted Scientology is." No studio love Cruz's behavior off-screen eventually began to affect his career. In 2006, Paramount Pictures ended its 14-year working relationship with the actor, fearing his erratic actions were going to negatively impact receipts for the upcoming Mission Impossible 3. Apparently, it wasn't just the actor's affiliation with Scientology that had the studio sweating. Cruz's bizarre appearance on Oprah led many to question his sanity. Paramount CEO Sumner Redstone was quoted by CNN saying, "...as much as we like him personally, we thought it was wrong to renew his deal. His recent conduct had not been acceptable to Paramount." Total Power Despite naming Cruz as one of 2016's most overpaid actors, Forbes magazine is well aware of the influence Cruz holds, naming him the most powerful actor more than once. He topped the list in 2006 after War of the Worlds cleaned up at the box office, and again in 2012 after Mission Impossible Ghost Protocol brought the franchise back from the brink. While most studios strive to tap the biggest names in showbiz, when stars call the shots themselves, it becomes a problem. Cruz's reputation now precedes him, but the actors had better luck cracking the increasingly lucrative Asian market. Japan's crush on Cruz exploded into a full-on affair after the release of 2003's The Last Samurai, with the country declaring October 10th a national holiday, Tom Cruise Day. Conversion Scheme Devoting one's life to a faith created by a science fiction writer is a personal choice. But recruiting other A-list celebs into the fold sounds a little like propaganda. Former high-ranking Scientologist Gary Moorhead told the Daily Mail that Cruz had an unhealthy obsession with David Beckham and viewed the British soccer star as the ideal convert. That conversation never came to pass, but it allegedly wasn't for a lack of trying on Cruz's part. According to a 2015 report, in an attempt to lure Beckham to Scientology headquarters, Cruz ordered Sea Org members to build a soccer field. It was all for nothing as Beckham and wife Victoria reportedly pulled a no-show. Unpopular Vote does Cruz really deserve to be hated in Hollywood and beyond? Some say all this negativity boils down to a simple case of jumping on the bandwagon. For every fan that harbors a genuine hate for the man, there's another who will avoid his movies based solely on the sway of public opinion. Still, the old saying, there's no such thing as bad publicity, rings true. Gossip has followed Cruz his entire life, yet his star power has continued to prevail. Despite his questionable beliefs and erratic outbursts, Cruz remains in high demand, reaffirming his position as one of the industry's top leading men. Thanks for watching! Click the Nikki Swift icon to subscribe to our YouTube channel. Plus, check out all this cool stuff we know you'll love too.